Hello and welcome to this beer explanation why do we build beer oh, the logic behind it and all those things and we will look at things like this let's hide some of this so that you can see the idea builds in sequence first you have a typical node tree it looks like this this can become a, a group of nodes and then another group of nodes that sequentially combining turning into one output and that if we simplify it further we can turn it into a node tree that is actually a chain uh, you have a node group that will combine into a blend blending that chains into chaining into an one output and if we simplify it further, we can change that actually into a layer system. Uh, so this group of nodes actually is your shader 1. This group of nodes, shader 2, and this group become your shader 3. So this whole part, this whole node 3 actually uh, can, can really turn into this thing. Because most of the time, your input is always 2. Two input and even there's three input for uh, factor or something like that it, you can actually put factor in your blending mode and then using this way actually this whole setup becomes way easier to understand let's say you just want dif uh, a diffuse you take normal and light vector you turn it into a diffuse how about we just take that and change it into a shader like here and it become way easier to understand because most of the time you just wasting your time linking this building this part up but if you have a good preset of shaders a, a group of shaders which means you have a few lines of algorithm that turn it turn one layer into a shader uh, you actually save a lot of time doing this and not repeating it and a lot of users don't actually want to know how this is made what is important for them is actually seeing the result on screen and making them see the result faster is uh, the goal for beer and even with this kind of node setup uh, imagine this is one shader uh, we can actually do this kind of linking anything that is uh, the, the layer next the next layer we can use the shade uh, the you can reference back the data that you have which with the same uh, how to say that it's the same data type uh, we can reference it back so even complex not setup can be done it can be turned into a, a layer so so next part I will show you the UI so the goal for the UI let's make this big the goal for the UI is actually for discoverability so when you see the menu later you don't see any sub menus uh, to hide all the sub parts last like you want what you see inside uh, the add not menu inside the add not menu like that in compositor or the current shader system in cycles and ev you all the things are quite hidden not many people will go explore to the bottom uh, uh, sub menu bottom part of the sub menu that yes is is actually obscured so the so our goal in beer is to make it easy to discover it feels like you are doing uh, object uh, uh, object modifier so you just can go crazy so the second part is to make it easy to understand it because it works like raster layer just like here uh, raster software layer it it makes it understanding it very easy and is fast to use so you don't you non, don't have to link the nodes make sure this pipe to that because we already built way better presets uh, good very good presets for you to use and it is flexible you can change the layer order you can solo it to see one output you 
you can uh, and then blending is very fast because you're only doing pass through and then and then the next part I will show you the mock UI for it so in, in, in your uh, material container you see uh, your your layers is start from the bottom and going up just like here so once you the bottom part don't have some your blending type so only it starts with uh, the second second layer so this will this will bend to this this will blend to this okay shader starts from the bottom once you press a shader that you come up with this kind of menu everything is exposed so nothing is hidden it can become a huge menu but uh, that is a problem for future not right now so when sh uh, and then everything is clearly labeled so you can take parts of it not like current uh, in blender internal where if you create a material you actually have this you can you actually have your diffuse and your your phone specular at the same time uh, which not what everybody wants maybe you just want just diffuse or you just only run a uh, phone shader so uh, you can take the primitive of each to populate your layer to build your own uh, material so use the shader to build the material so if after you populate enough it will look like this it will all layer what any layer will become a, a panel so starting from the bottom you have your maybe this is your diffuse this is actually one shader this is one shader that is uh, actually let's say you have uh, your, you want your bottom layer to have uh, this kind of uh, gradient and it is a diffuse then you go on top you layer it up with another and then you lay it up with another uh, shader so then we we can reorder this and when you order this this layer this ordering will change so uh, it is quite easy to uh, to use and the goal for for beer the real goal is actually to simplify the task that actually repeats itself uh, I've been doing quite a lot of uh, not linking and all that yeah, in the end it still turned into something like this no matter how hard I try to not do like this it will how hard I turn this into this this use this thing it will always turn into this and if if it's always turned into this if you simply apply it further you can do this and why not we actually streamline the process and build something that is quick faster and turn it into something like this it's easier to understand when you add the add a, a, a shader it's easier to understand and this is not only on object material but it's also on world shaders uh, those screen space shaders uh, like SSAO and everything else you can also do the same That's, but it is in another panel uh, another panel in the properties uh, and then you can mix them together this this process is actually simplify a lot of things a lot of tasks and we want to actually make you create things faster experiment things faster and not just exp experimenting with math or algorithm uh, but actually testing the algorithm and then the next part for this the real goal for making beer is actually making this layer programmable uh, making when we making this uh, user programmable so you can just copy paste code from on uh, the web uh, whoever wants to share their shaders they plop it in and you can instantly get a new layer here so it will just populate in the menu and then get a new layer here and then you can turn turn it into your own workflow you can combine three layers into one layer 
or you can do uh, something wicked here because it's all a black box in a layer and only the output is uh, uh, strictly become RGBA output so when the output is the same anything in the end that will turn into RGBA will blend very well going up and if if this is uh, 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 if enough people support this and we will actually do this uh, create this in the future uh, create this uh, render in the future so that's it guys uh, for this video thank you for watching